day. Um, today it's dead calm. Um, we did see a really good bear yesterday. He was far out walking away from us. Not really an option. These bears, they will do big circles. And so he may be, he may have walked five miles yesterday and he may come right back our way today. Um, today's gonna be a really good day. I'm hoping the bear movement will come, you know, spike up with the warm weather. We don't wanna walk all over this place because we're kind of hunting off this little knob. And the more we put our scent out, the more we walk around, the less chance a bear is gonna come closer to us. So when we go on a stock, it's, it's a very calculated risk. We don't wanna go walking two or three miles away if we don't think it's a good option. You have a better chance just staying put and that bear coming around in a day or two than you trying to chase after him a long ways away and then scenting up everything and creating a poor atmosphere for bear hunting around where you need to be. So that's kind of how I like to do it. That's our, that's my mindset. A bunch of waterfall around here too, so cool. All right, I'm gonna get back to glass and keep you posted. And that's what they can throw you off. So I want to watch him walk. Mm -hmm. What I'm hoping is as the tide starts to come out, he wants to go ahead and work this yeah. way. We'll see. He might just do his little thing and mill around in there, but we got the wind for it. Night. Springtime bear hunting never ends. We stay up real late for these bears. And, uh, this is a a beach. There's like lots of like floats and different stuff that came off fishing boats. Kind of makes for an exciting little scavenger hunt. But uh, yeah, it's, it's midnight right now and this is a good time for bears to come out, so. Okay, sh reload, 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 reload. Get him again. Get him again. Good shot. Good shot. Right now it's high tide, which is not ideal uh, for beach access and also uh, sea access. When the tide's low, these bears come out into the low tide and the tidal flats and they'll, they'll dig up mussels and um, 
clams and you know sometimes there's seals who get killed and get washed up that kind of stuff so um but nonetheless they still cruise the beach because right now in the spring it's rut time so you know big boars could still be cruising kind of along this tight little coastline Good. Day two, our Alaskan hunt with Ian and Tim. Second day, we're all sitting around the beach and our guide's going crazy trying to decide whether they should stay there or try a new spot where Ian had been seeing this big boar. So he decided he'd be a hero or a zero. So he brought us over here, climbed up the cliff and first thing we see is this bad boy walking down. He comes back and gets us. We get all set up and the bear comes out at 35 yards. He says, take the shot, we did. And so it was a great decision on the guide's part. Great hunt, great guys. Recommend it for anybody. And we got the bear to load here. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Just call you, go to your knees or just front squat that sucker. There. Go to get to all fours. Yep, get to all fours and then crawl up like a little baby. There you go. And, and we're up. Nice. That's way better than that other side. Trying to sniff out some potential females that will they can breed with and, and females will do it too sows will come in and and try to sniff out boars and try to get get some attention and um, but it's long hours in the spring i mean we're up at four and we are glassing until well past midnight so it's best to run shifts and kind of glass and shifts and yeah it's fun doesn't get any better the weather's perfect breezy Mosquitoes are out, but it's it's awesome. We gotta see that. 